I'll say is Palestine is our generation South Africa. And if, <laughs> if, if we don't step up uh, boldly and courageously to end the, the imperialist project that's called Israel, um, we're doomed. And uh, this could backfire. I mean, the victimhood is out of control, somebody. Okay, friends, we have Awaken with JP on the screen today. Friends, let's get into this video. The link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Trust us. We are the good guys. Israel versus Palestine. Okay, so this is We Lie to You News. <laughs> Uh, this is interesting. Uh, you're going to have some laughter while we're addressing some serious and honest and true issues in our culture today. Let's get into the video. Good evening and welcome to We Lie To You News. Mm. Tonight's top story, Israel versus Palestine. We'll be shaping your thinking to help it make sense to you why many on the left are actively cheering on terrorists who are murdering innocent civilians, including babies, which also includes cutting the heads off of babies, kidnapping children, and burning people alive. We have our work cut out for us tonight. But before we get to why the side that's always accusing you of being an anti-Semite left is cheering on the murder of innocent Jews, first we'll cover the funding of these deadly terrorist attacks. It takes a lot of money to fund terrorists so they can buy missiles to bomb Israelis, planes so paratroopers can drop in and murder civilians at festivals, and guns so they can go door to door to shoot babies, children, women, and men. So where did that money come from? Tell you what, man, the Biden administration has <laughs> some blame to take when it comes to this situation. We can't just overlook and give them a another green pass in the name of just being political. That money that was used for Iran, given to Iran, and they, the Iran, um, I guess, should I say president, he said, listen, I'm going to do whatever I want to do with that money. So, uh, where do we go from here? <laughs> well, here, here is the result. Here is the result. Now we have a war. And, and we shouldn't be shocked by this. Uh, so the Biden administration has some blames to, to bear when it comes to this. Well, probably just out of thin air. But where we know the money didn't come from was Biden, who unfroze $6 billion, giving it to Iran. Irrelevant side note, Iran is the country that Hamas credited for funding them and their attacks. The Babylon Bee reports that the White House claims the $6 billion to Iran is not related to the exactly $6 billion worth of rockets being fired into Israel. <laughs> and that's irrefutably true. Because on September 11th, of all days, when Biden announced he gave Iran $6 billion, what could go wrong with that? He Not reassured Americans that no harm would come from it. <laughs> Thank you for your word, Joe. Really? Because he told Iran that that $6 billion was for humanitarian purposes only. You want to blow up Israel and murder its citizens? Okay, well, here's $6 billion. Just don't use it for that. Biden's was an ironclad strategy, mm -hmm. just as effective as Hunter videotaping himself doing drugs and banging prostitutes to ensure that he doesn't get caught doing drugs and banging prostitutes. <laughs> Biden's move to give a terrorist state $6 billion was like a teenager saying to his parents, hey, I'm going to the liquor store. Can I have some money? Yes. Just don't buy any alcohol. <laughs> Spot on. Spot on. This is crazy. Like, the Biden administration is so out of touch with reality. So out of touch with reality. It's almost like common sense tells you not to do that. But, hey. However, in a shocking revelation with Iran and Hamas, somehow the teenager did end up buying alcohol. Mm -hmm. But nobody could have possibly predicted that would happen. Never. Nobody except for one man. A man that we still tell you is a Russian asset. President Trump. Back in <laughs> September, in response to Biden giving Iran a truckload of money, President Trump released the following statement on Truth Social. 
Can you believe that crooked Joe Biden is giving $6 billion to the terrorist regime in Iran? That money will be used for terrorism all over the Middle East and indeed the world. That's preposterous. We at the media can confidently say that Trump is wrong, mm. even though he's correct. Trump is right again. I mean, I mean, when are we going to give Trump his flowers? <laughs> when are we going to say, okay, man, <laughs> you are here way ahead of this. You know why? Because he uses common sense, especially in a world when common sense is no longer common. Everything Trump said, a lot of what Trump says, man, turned out to be true. You don't like the messenger, you kill the message, huh? Stop killing the message because you don't like the messenger. That's just crazy to me. I think I have head lice. Is that still a thing? I think I have lice in my scalp. Conservative political commentator Jack Posibiak weighed in by saying, I said recently the neocons would start World War III to cancel the 2024 election. Mm, mm, How mm, mm. Yep, yep. We, we, we were dealing with Ukraine and we, we, we slowly merging out of that. Um, and before you know it, there goes another one. There goes another war that we have to worry about. Lord have mercy. How's that prediction looking right now? Well, Jack, not looking too good, you moron. Because for neocons to start World War III, they would have to fund a terrorist organization to commit savage, atrocious acts on innocent civilians that would cause that country to mount an enormous military response while garnering the support of people around the world, which would then usher in the public support necessary for World War III. This Justin! Exactly what's going on right now. <laughs> I mean, he spelled it out for you. If you didn't get it, you, you, you completely missed it. Exactly. The very things he's telling you is what's happening. Oh, yeah. That's what's happening. Question <laughs> for you. If this Jack guy was on the roof and couldn't get down. Would you help Jack off? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Jack, it's ridiculous. Yo. It's ridiculous. A lot of people are dying. <laughs> wow. And in other news about the same news, as we've programmed you to think, the left here in America is the all-loving humanitarian focus, yeah. except all people as equals group that loves to label you as an anti-Semite if your shoes are untied. And in the spirit of 1984, we're seeing a rather large amount of support from mm. the left for Hamas in Palestine while cheering on the murders of innocent Jews in Israel. <laughs> oh in my lord, the, I'm telling you, man, this is why I could never be a leftist. I'm so glad I was never a Democrat. I was an independent. I just, leave me, I just love myself some Jesus. I was completely away from politics. Uh, for good reasons, of course, and there's some reason. I still there's still some stuff in politics I refuse to touch. But anyway, the reason I could never be a leftist is this: is the level of lunacy and consistencies that exist among them. Uh, first of all, Kyrie Irving's got in trouble and was canceled by the left and was called an anti-Semite because he shared a link on his Twitter page of a movie. That was available on Amazon for sale. Amazon's not in trouble, but Kyrie Evans in trouble for sharing the link to a movie on his personal Twitter page. Now, X, he had to apologize. There were a number of things he had to do. He had to bow the knees because he said something against the Jew. That was so bad. Kanye West was called, was called all type of name, was called an anti-Semite and all kind of crazy names. Jamie Foxx got in trouble for saying a few things about the Jews. But the people in Hamas, these soldiers went to Israel in their hometown, entered where they had no business entering, murdered children, babies. I said babies, somebody. I said babies, not, not soldiers, babies, teenagers at a party. And then the left in the United States 
hold their flags in the name of advocating for Palestinian freedom. I am confused right now. I am so confused. Which one is it? You condemn Carrie Irvins for a link. But the people who bo butchered little babies, you held a flag praising. I mean, I mean, the victimhood is out of control, somebody. To their support, far right extremist Chad Prather suggests if you stand with Palestine, go stand in Palestine. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Kind of like to see that. Fair enough. But why is the left so anti Jew and pro terrorists who are brutally murdering women and children? One might think it's because they're brainwashed into doing the bidding of evil without even knowing it, and this is very much in line with that. But we can confidently tell you it's probably something else. Moving along, BLM has publicly come out supporting the Palestinian terrorists, Hamas, with their post of a drawing depicting one of the paratroopers that dropped in. That's just crazy. This picture is a picture of an individual who is on his way to, to, to unalive individuals, unalive innocent people. But that's the picture you want to use to, I mean, again, we shouldn't be shocked. I'm not shocked because BLM has been very vocal. I, I put a video of Patrice Collins on my channel recently showing, and I'm going to sh share a link on that, showing that they were saying they, they were, they were anti-Semitic anti and they got away with it because they're supposedly standing for black lives. Like, are you serious right now? say is Palestine is our generation in South Africa and if 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 we don't step up uh, boldly and courageously to end the the imperialist project that's called Israel um, we're doomed and I think that uh, I had learned about Palestine for a long time I had known about it been wanting to travel and I was really really grateful when the dream defenders um, asked me to come on the delegation, uh, but nothing would have prepared me for the level of milit militarization and the, uh, and the level of violence that we would witness those 10 days inside of Palestine. Um, nothing would have prepared me for uh, the ways in which um, we witness people's terror, uh, people live in terror on a daily basis. And um, nothing would have prepared me for how much clarity I would have on on why we have to be a part of um, uh, Palestinian solidarity. I played this for you because she's spouting the exact same talking points of the people who perpetrated the terror this week. The exact ones. Nobody canceled them. I'll tell you what, man. I'll, I'll tell you. It's lunacy to murder innocent festival goers that says I stand with Palestine mercy <laughs> make it make sense no it doesn't well turning point USA made BLM's post make sense by pointing out terrorists stand with terrorists <laughs> exactly Check. true but for God's sakes could we just please stop labeling them as terrorists it makes us look bad when we're supporting bad people doing evil things. Mm -hmm. This just in! The Canadian broadcasting company tells journalists to not call Hamas <laughs> terrorists. <laughs> what are we supposed to call them? Freedom fighters? Lord have mercy. Help me out, somebody. Not call Hamas terrorists. Oh, cool. I guess we're already doing that. Calling evil evil is counterproductive for the spread of it. Mm -hmm. But it gets better because the plot of hate and hypocrisy of the left thickens like a Pfizer blood clot because synonymous with the left is the LGBTQ movement. People are thoroughly amused while being terrified seeing LGBTQ support the incredibly non- You can only do this in free America. I'll tell you what, you go over to Palestine with your queer flag. You go there with you with that flag, see what happens. It's only in America that we, 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 we have the compassion and the love and the tolerance 
for one another that this will go on. Uh, the, the, the story of Palestinian women having been butchered because they weren't wearing a head covering. Don't don't even come close to me with this nonsense. This is nonsense. They will not even allow you to do that in that nation, in this country. And I can tell you, the stuff that is done to people who live in Palestine, the things that they do to their own people, I, I could only imagine what they would do to us coming from the West with this nonsense. That stuff is not even welcome at their door. On terrorist Hamas in Palestine, while denouncing Israel. Even one of the political faces of the LGBTQ and mental institutions, Representative Rashida Tlaib <laughs> has a Palestinian flag outside of her office. Yep. She's a fine woman, that one. Given the fact <laughs> that there are no LGBTQ rights in Palestine, yet there are- I mean, I defend her right for having it, but we have the right to criticize her as well. ...in Israel, why does the LGBTQ organization stand with a terrorist regime that hates them, while standing against a country full of innocent people that accepts them? Mm -hmm. Well, after deep psychological analysis, experts suggest it's because they're morons. <laughs> Accordingly, with regard to Rashida Tlaib having the Palestine flag outside of her office next to her pride flag, the Babylon Bee reports the Palestinian flag outside Rashida Tlaib's office seen throwing pride flag <laughs> off the roof. <laughs> All right, that's not funny. That, 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 anyway, throwing anyone off the roof for their sexual orientation is wrong. I am not advocating for that, nor am I laughing as a result of that. It's just funny watching oil and water <laughs> we try to mix two very opposite group of people with two very different perspective the palestinian people do not tolerate gay people of any sort and the fact lgbtqia plus from the west think that this is a good idea it, it goes to show again the level of disconnect uh, lunacy hypocrisy and confusion that's going on here this is so bad <laughs> That's a joke, people. That's a joke. <laughs> but what's not a joke is that they do throw LGBTQ people off of rooftops in mm -hmm. Palestine. Mm -hmm. That part is not a joke. No, it's not. And that's why Rashida Tlaib is a joke. <laughs> a human on the internet points out, queers for Palestine makes as much sense as chickens for KFC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that, that is a good one. That is a really good one, JP. That's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens when you don't do your own thinking, which is great because we've got an agenda that we need to use you for. So keep up the great support. Let's hear more about the loving geniuses on the left supporting the violent savagery on Israelis. Well, the Babylon Bee once again reports that Harvard student leaves lecture on microaggressions to attend Kill the Jews rally. Mm -mm. And here's a photo of liberals at an actual Kill the Jews rally in New York. Oh, these students are out of their minds. New York City. If you don't stand with Palestine, you're an anti Semite. Oh, and uh, one of these liberals is holding up a swastika. So you better attend the next pro-Palestine rally in your neighborhood, or else you're an anti-Semite. Uh -huh. As we're shoving war, hate, and crimes against humanity in your face, the architect points out, someone needs to keep an eye on Bill Gates while we're all being distracted. That's <laughs> probably actually a good idea. Uh, yeah. And lastly, yeah. Israelis, a previously disarmed people, were left defenseless when Hamas terrorists were breaking into their homes to kidnap, rape, and murder. And in response, Israel is now arming as many citizens as possible, mm. reversing their strict gun control regulations. Oh yeah, this is why we should never give up the Second Amendment. 
we should fight for it till the end. Just like that, the world was turned upside down for the Israelites. Did, did they see this one coming? No, they did not. This was a surprise move. We still don't know why the intelligence failure has even taken place. So we're still having questions about that. Okay? Some of the best intelligence, intelligent, uh, should I say, administration in the world, even the one we have in the West, fell completely, did not take notice, had no idea this was going to happen. Even though Egypt had given them warning days ahead, there is a possibility of something like this to happen. I digress. So, um, with that being said, I I'm just so confused about the nature of these bees. And why is this even going on? Citizens as possible, reversing their strict gun control regulations. That's what I mean. The gun control that is oftentimes being such a debate in the West and how we need to give it up. The palace, the, the Israelites, <laughs> the people in Israel, the Jews, they had to give that back to the people because, listen, man, we need you guys to fight. This is why the government should not be messing with this law. There's a reason why it's there. And that's why we should stand against any movement that's telling you to give it up. Do not go with this. It's a false dichotomy. It's a misconception. It's a deception. And it has dire consequences that will follow. Dire consequences. Because you just don't know when this stuff is going to be knocking at your door. And that just goes to show you that we need to ban guns here in the U.S. Because what's happening in Israel could never happen here. Because huh, okay. with a wide open border that any terrorist could just cross and uh -huh. probably have, yep. form sleeper cells that could mount atrocious terrorist attacks on US citizens in their own homes, mm -hmm. that could never happen here. Of course not. So it's just more evidence that we should abolish the Second Amendment. That's it for tonight's news. The Biden administration has definitely not funded Hamas because they were told not to use the money that they were given to use. The left has shown their true colors so much so that the rainbow flag will soon be redesigned to just be blood red and you're being encouraged to forget your humanity and cheer on the beginning of World War III which already started by you standing with Ukraine. All a great lesson that reminds you to never do your own thinking. That would be dangerous. Turn in your guns and turn on the news. Here we are. Good night. If I were to say, it's time to do our own thinking. This is bad. The left doesn't look good. Again, they're showing their true colors. They're showing their true colors. They're showing how much evil is in the heart man this is not a hard thing for me to digest and comprehend and make a decision about look what the bible says the thief coming about to steal to kill and to destroy what did the thief come to do steal kill destroy so if you were to compare this verse to just what was happening over there who started the problem here? Who started the war? Who started the stealing and killing and destroying? The thief did. So therefore, you have to stand against a system that is perpetuating that, which is the people of Hamas. And one thing I don't understand is why so many Palestinians still supporting this movement? Like, forget about the religion for a minute. Just, just look at lives and human lives. Their lives are now being destroyed. Now there's attack happening in their homeland, in Gaza, and children are, are hurting as a result of this. There is another possibility of Israelite soldiers going in looking for um, Hamas um, soldiers to bring this matter to an end. But the people in Palestine, in Palestine, is still defending over 75% of them is still defending the action of the terrorist group like that, that is crazy to me you should be denouncing them but again i'm sure there's probably a fear of death going on here you're not allowed to do this the majority believe that you know again and again i'm pretty sure there's a lot more happening and i'm not gonna act like i understand all the details that goes into this all i'm simply saying is this there is something wrong with the notion of supporting a group of people who advocated who started a war that was unnecessary completely something that the people did not look for at least from what i'm seeing 
you should be denouncing them. But again, again, I'm from the West. I know so much I can say, so much I know. Jesus says, I'm come that they might have life, that they may have it more abundantly. So what, what do you want? Do you want to stand for those who are stealing, killing, and robbing and destroying people? Or are you going to stand for your life actually is? Now, I'm not telling you to pick side. All I'm telling you is to pick side where the truth is, where Christ is, where saving lives is. That's where I take a stand. That's what I'm about. And uh, like I said, I've been praying for both groups, man. Praying for both groups for God to change their conception, change the mind, change the heart. But much more could be said about that. Link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. I'll see you in our next video. Have a good one. Bye.